Hey guys, what's up? By Sacktron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video. This is the last 10 minutes of the war against Mariana Trench. Um, you can see we are just hopping into a live attack here. We will talk about the details of the war in just a moment and how things are looking. Um, it is looking good for us right now, but we'll see if they can pick up some 11v11s. This might change. I believe this is a must three star for them. Otherwise, I think this might secure the victory, but either way, we will have some nice 11v11 attempts in the last minutes of this war. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if they do not get this one, they statistically cannot win, um, but it is looking fairly good. Did miss that Inferno, but I think the goal was just to push through, ignoring that one Inferno, and to get it later. Um, yeah, things are looking pretty good in this attack here. Um, still has all three heroes up, the bowlers pushing through, it's just a matter of, yeah, without any healers though, things are going to start going down pretty quickly, and it's just down to the queen and the warden. Don't think this one's going to triple, nope, not going to work, and I think that will pretty much end the war. So just as we start the video, um, we kind of finish up the war, but we're still going to have four more live attacks for you guys going in the next few minutes here. Um, I'll show the stats, possibly some other replays, um, and you guys can see some nice 11v11 attempts. But yeah, this one is not going to go anywhere. The queen will... Uh, he'll use the ability at some point and she'll die shortly after that. So um, that is the war. Great job to everyone in One Hive Genesis. It was a good war. You can see this uh, ends the war because both clans had three attacks remaining. And actually, I don't know if this actually statistically ends the war or not. Um, their other attack might be a Town Hall 10 attack, though. Um, okay, I'm not sure where their extra attack is remaining, but um, the point is they're down by two stars. They are yet to get an 11v11. We have two 11v11s, and we have three attempts to try to add a couple more to that. Um, so we might take a look at these two. Um, actually, we have a live attack going right now here, so um, we'll hop into this one. And it is uh, Comfort V-Dub taking on this base, looking to do... This will be an interesting attack. I think it's kind of like a, almost an HGHB Town Hall 11 version. Um, has two healers, some giants, some bowlers, and a bunch of hogs and just sending everything on in, wall breakers, um, ton of wall breakers there actually, and yeah, it's almost like a mass bowler on that side, and then going to try to hog the rest of it, but as long as he gets the queen taken out, this one could look pretty good, we have another live attack going, we can check that out um, once this one becomes more clear, but um, things are still looking good, still has the warden's ability, seems like that kill squad is just refusing to go down, boom, right there pops the warden's ability, um, eagle is down, great value, we'll see how much more the queen can get, um, meanwhile the hogs coming in, hogs are definitely a very solid option at town hall 11 for these three star attacks, and this one's looking really, really good, I think, um, unfortunately the queen and the warden will probably die to that single inferno, um, yeah, the Warden's dead, it's locked onto the Queen, but still has a heal left for those Hogs. Just, if he's nice and patient, he can heal over that Wizard Tower. Um, the healer's probably not going to switch onto the Hogs, but that's okay. There's the heal. Um, this one looks like a 3-star. So if the war was not already over, now it certainly is. Um, as this one wraps up, there might be a Spring there, but probably won't matter. Even though he loses a few Hogs, I think... It was just enough to get through these last few defenses, about three or four hogs. Yeah. Well, they're going to the mortar, but still, the king is up with bowlers and wizards behind him, so it really doesn't matter. Um, this one is going to be a triple. So, nice attack to dub, and we will back out as that one finishes up. Um, let's see. We also had Dite going in live here. Um, let's see how this one looks. Looks like he has a bunch of troops over on the left there, which is the Warden healers on that. Minute 24 time might be the limiting factor here, because I think otherwise there's probably enough troops to take out this base, assuming those witches don't die. Um, 
it has one witch working there on the right side of the screen but it's not going to really do anything once the inferno gets it as it gets through the wall there yeah i think this one's not going to triple it might be closer if there was more time but um yeah the uh, cannon's going to go down so will the archer tower but just it's going to take forever to get in there get that inferno um there's also splash so these troops might be dying anyway um, we'll back out of that one and uh yeah so you can see we have pulled away um even if that one doesn't triple, we have three stars on them. They only have two attacks left. I guess both these attacks are still Town Hall 11s, um, but not too shabby of a war from us at all. Uh, we have five minutes remaining, so we will catch just one or two more attacks in these dying minutes. And then, of course, I'll make some. Uh, I'll try to make a video covering some of the highlights or something like that. I have a few different ideas for videos coming up this week. Um, but let's actually hop back into this, make sure nothing weird's happening, and that it is a fail, which is uh, what it looked like when we backed out initially. Um, yeah, time runs out right here, but it looked like a very nice effort, and um, just, it's so hard to get both Infernos with the push through the base, the Town Hall 11 bases are set up specifically to defend that. Um, so. Let's see, let's take a look at um, a 11v11 3-star while we're waiting. I guess we'll make this video all Town Hall 11 v 11 3-stars, then I won't have to worry about covering it in a recap or anything like that. So, uh, this was a hog attack. Once again, hogs and La Loon, um, as bases are starting to try to defend against the mass bowler, the witches, that kind of stuff, the queen walk vomit, um, pick your name for it. Uh, the uh, bo uh, the hog attacks and the Laloon attacks are becoming more popular, so uh, that's kind of something we're seeing as bases change, the meta changes a little bit too. So this was a nice little queen charge here, gonna go grab the Inferno, and yeah, you can queen charge those Infernos, um, even though they look pretty scary level 5 at Town Hall 11, they do take a while to wind up the damage, so they can definitely be queen charged. I guess we'll hop back out. Maybe we'll take a look at that one a little bit later. Um, first, let's take a look at a live attack. Gonna go ahead and show some bases, just because, uh, why not, I guess. Um, it might be being streamed anyway. I'm not sure if anyone's streaming this war, if there's any streamers in Mariana Trench. But um, just gonna be showing a few of our bases. This is one of them, I guess. Um, we'll see if they can pull an 11 v 11 here. They have not gotten one yet. This is Captain Wob. And uh, we will wait for him to go in. Starting off with a queen walk. Looks like a typical queen walk vomit type attack. Um, has a bunch of bowlers, some giants, to tank. The reason you don't want to use a golem for this strategy is because the healers tend to lock on to... Um, they have two criteria. First, things that are being targeted or are low in health. So things that aren't at full health. But they also tend to go towards the most army camp space they can. So if you have a cluster of like 10 bowlers, that is 60 troop space, so they'll typically target that. But um, the golem's 30, and oftentimes the golem, because it's higher than the heroes, which are worth 25, um, they're going to target the golem, and you don't really want your healers on your golem. You want your healers on your bowlers, on your witches, on your queen, stuff like that. So that's why you typically don't use a golem. Plus, the single inferno can take it down really quickly if it locks on. So giants are typically a better way to go for an 11 v 11 attack, and even for Town Hall 10 type attacks as well. Um, so it looks like we have a few other live attacks going on. We'll go ahead and stay with this. The bowlers are walking for the most part. Quite a few went around the outside of the base. So if this one doesn't look like it's going anywhere, we might hop out and uh, see what else we have. We want to take a look at the attack on our side for sure. Um, yeah, this one's not going to go anywhere. Uh, bowlers are walking. Let's see what else we have going. Um, let's look at Kieran on number one, trying to pick up. I think this would be our fourth 11v11 for this war. Um, it is, I see Valks in the army comp. I see a Pekka. I'm not quite sure what this attack is. I think it's a mass Valk attack, actually. I see a bunch of what look to be Valks inside the base. Um, meanwhile, the queen's kind of doing her own thing with healers on her. Everything completely went around that first Inferno, which isn't great. Um, 
The queen went through the wall here. She's being targeted by the single inferno. Going to have to use the queen's ability. Just got it off, but I don't think she can reach that inferno. So this one, well, if she goes around, maybe she'll get it. Depends what the inferno locks on to here. Um, the queen might get it there. But it looks like most of the Valks died. Um, this one probably not going to triple. Was an interesting plan using a bunch of Valks, but if, as you can see, what they do is they just tear through the base, but they leave a lot in their wake. And um, this one not going to triple. So that'll pretty much finish up the war for us. 131, a very respectable performance. Looks like we got uh, 311 V11s. And um, I will not, I'll go ahead and just not show that unless it does triple for the sake of the base's integrity. Let's take a quick look at this attack. We'll go times four because we already saw the entry. It was a, uh, a queen charge. And you'll notice he's going to grab this inferno right here. Um, as the queen walks around. So a nice setup, gets the CC troops, the king for the funnel, and uh, the queen wraps around, wall breaks, uses the rage, doesn't even have to use the ability or the warden's tomb, and then we'll go times two as the queen progresses, has a jump spell to let her in to the eagle, to the defensive queen, get all that taken out. Um, the healers start to get targeted, but the hogs can take out that air defense, so not a huge deal. And then they'll just wrap around the base. There is the king to deal with, but has so many hogs. Plus, still has the queen and the warden working. Um, so, going to push through the base here. Last heal goes down. And that will pretty much be GG. So, this was a very nice attack. One of my favorites from the war. And um, that will wrap this video up, I think. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the end. And uh, take a look at the final stats of this war. 10v10 was definitely a big factor. We um, we did better 10v10, and that allowed us to have more 11v11 attempts. Uh, looks like Mariana Trench did not pull off any 11v11s, but like I said, they didn't have a, a quite as many attempts as we did. Um, so that's it, 131 to 128. I believe this might secure our spot in the playoffs. Don't quote me on that, but I, it's been said, and it might be true. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.